December 5th and 6th, Sunday and Monday. The sun is in Sagittarius and the moon's one sign away in Capricorn. So the first thing about Sag Cap, baby born Sunday, Monday, blunt, honest, strong. But it's not just ordinary. The moon's in Cap, we have Pluto in Cap, and we have Venus in Cap. So it's a stellium in Capricorn with sun in Sagittarius, Mercury in Sagittarius, and Mars in Scorpio. Here's an athlete being born. Here's a strong personality type, Sagittarius Capricorn. They don't mince words. I have a friend like this, and the gift that I love is, how do I look? Not very good. I think you need to get, you know, that shirt changed, or I don't really like the way you said that. There, there's no inhibition to give you the truth. I happen to love this quality. The truth sets us free, but it does become a burden for people with Sagittarius Capricorn because they find themselves impatient. Sagittarius is blunt, honest, and Capricorn's bottom line. And Venus is conjunct Pluto. It's been in Capricorn. There's been the stellium in Capricorn right now. So if you're finding yourself early December, Sunday and Monday, looking at yourself and getting impatient with yourself, the Sagittarius can keep you distracted by fun and distractions and having like Walt Disney's birthday, December 5th, watching Netflix and watching videos and playing in the game world. That's what Sag can distract with. But those three plants in Capricorn is the responsible designated driver who says, you can drink, but I'm going to pay attention to how much you're drinking, who says on Sunday, we have to consider what we have on our list here. So by Monday, you wake up with Moony Capricorn. You're like, why do I feel so motivated? Well, there's three planets in Capricorn. It's called a stellium. Now you're thinking, maybe I should go study astrology because that's the greatest way to understand. I'm like a total zealot when it comes to astrology, especially when there's three plants in Capricorn. It's practical. It's grounded. These people can be considered a little too grown up. They're old when they're young. They're young when they old. Sagittarians blossom, get ready, from 40 to 45. Capricorns from 50 on. An old soul at best. At worst, Sagittarius Capricorn is just a little grumpy because all that Capricorn makes you go, mm. And did you know that Walt Disney did not open up Disneyland till he was in his late 50s, his second Saturn return. That is so Sag Capricorn. My point, later in life they blossom. If you're feeling like your life is so serious, just hope if you're a Capricorn Sag in your chart that it gets easier and easier as you get older and you realize Mickey and Minnie. Want to hear a funny joke? Uh oh, can I swear? So Mickey went to the psychiatrist and said, I have to divorce Minnie. And the psychiatrist said, you can't divorce her because she's going crazy. And he said, I didn't say she's crazy. I said she's fucking goofy. That's so Sagittarius of me. It was just a joke. My point is, it's a humor system that's built in to keep you young and, and humorous. Or you can get serious and go, oh, Dapper, you shouldn't have sworn. Moon and Capricorn. Oh, well. Astrology answer said it was okay. If you're like me, you're ready for more. And I have really good news. I'm teaching again. And I want to help you discover your significant planet or the planets that are really influencing your psychology. Because you have a purpose and a contract that you agreed to before you arrived here on this planet. And the quickest path that I found for figuring out your purpose is through studying first the planets. When you figure out that significant planet, there goes the confusion and suddenly you feel so much more comfortable being yourself. Click the link in the description to learn more about the planets, my very best friends.